Shannon Lee with the Veggie Nut and Foofy. Say hi, Foofy. And I wanted to share with you what I had for Thanksgiving dinner last year, 2014. I filmed a little bit of what I had, and I also showed how I made a couple of the dishes. They're all really easy. And I wanted to put that out before this upcoming Thanksgiving. That way, maybe you could get some ideas of what to have. I'm also going to leave a playlist down below. It's a vegan Thanksgiving playlist with a lot of delicious recipes to give you some more ideas of things you could have for the holiday season. And I want to wish everybody a very happy, healthy, and compassionate Thanksgiving. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Say bye, Poopy. Bye. For some appetizers, I am serving some mixed olives and some roasted garlic. And I also have this Kite Hill Vegan Cheese. It's a cheese made from nuts and they sell this only at Whole Foods, unfortunately. And they have, I think, three or four flavors and they're all delicious. And here are some rice crackers. I'm making some stuffed artichokes and you just remove the stems and then you want to separate and open the tops that way you could stuff it with some stuffing <laughs> and I'm putting a little bit of olive oil some salt and pepper some onion and garlic powder and some nutritional yeast in there and I typically don't cook with oil but on holidays I throw the rules out the window and I'm all about just making recipes that my family likes as long as they are vegan. And you wanna make sure that when you put stuff in there, like nutritional yeast, that it goes down deep in the nooks and crannies. And you wanna bake this about, um, for about a half an hour, 375. And I'm roasting up some garlic. Again, I put a little bit of olive oil, some salt and pepper and you want to roast this at 350 for about 10 to 15 minutes, stirring it a couple of um, times, that way it doesn't burn on one side. For Thanksgiving, I always love to have a tofurkey. I personally love tofurkey. If you're not a fan of it, good news is they do have quite a few different vegan roasts these days. And I just put a bunch of different veggies in the casserole dish with the tofurkey, along with some fresh sage and thyme and a little bit of vegetable broth to help the vegetables cook and become tender. And the tofurkey does come with a gravy, but there are also a few different vegan gravies on the market. Here are some of them. Mushroom gravy and this little powdered packet as well. And the gravy that the tofurkey comes with isn't bad. I like it. It's just I like the other ones better and it's a lot more money when you get the package with the gravy. So I personally like buying the tofurkey by itself and then buying a gravy of my choice instead. And in here I have some onions, garlic, carrots, sage, thyme, uh, some onion and garlic powder, some pepper, and a little bit of low sodium vegetable broth. Then I'm gonna put the asparagus on top and bake it in the oven for about 45 minutes to an hour until everything, all the veggies become tender and the tofu is fully cooked. And I'm also just gonna make a quick green bean casserole. I'm using some canned green beans. You could use frozen or fresh. About one teaspoon of Bragg's liquid aminos. And I got these little crispy onions at Whole Foods. And you want an unsweetened, unflavored, non-dairy milk, about one third of a cup. Same with some of the gravy, about one third of a cup. And four to five mushrooms one teaspoon of onion powder, garlic powder, and some pepper to taste. 
And in a large bowl, you want to add all the ingredients and half of the crispy onions. And you want to give that a good mix. And then you're going to put it in a casserole dot dish and top it with the rest of the crispy onions. And you just want to bake that until it starts to bubble. It's all heated about 20 minutes to a half an hour. And this is just something very easy that I love making on Thanksgiving and holidays. It's just some frozen peas and frozen pearled onions. And I add a little bit of non-dairy milk to help it cook and give it creaminess, probably like a third of a cup, and some onion powder, garlic powder, and some salt and pepper. And what Thanksgiving would be complete without mashed potatoes, you just cook this like you normally would. Peel potatoes, boil them, and then mash them up. Add some vegan butter and some non-dairy milk. I happen to be using cashew milk for this day, but you could use almond or soy. And then add a little salt and pepper, some garlic or herbs if you want to get fancy. And this is a crescent roll that I use. It's non-GMO and there's no animal ingredients in it. And that's it, it's a very simple Thanksgiving meal. I also whipped up a quick little cheese sauce using some Daya cheese and non-dairy milk. <laughs> and we have some cranberries. And thank you for watching. I hope everybody has a happy Thanksgiving. I'd love to hear what you like to have for Thanksgiving dinner. What's your favorite dish? And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye.